Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Keda here, and this is Migo Pad T01. So basically, it is small PC which has a dual boot. It has a CPU of Intel Atom Z37 35, and it can support dual boot Windows 8.1 as well as Android. It has DDR3 2GB RAM, and it has inbuilt 16 GB or 32 GB storage EMMC uh, you can choose the model whatever you want then it has extended micro SD slot then it has display HDMI output then it supports Wi-Fi Bluetooth then as a power supply you have to use 5 volt 2 ampere power supply that is given with this and so let's take a look inside this model so let's go yes it says intel inside so that's gonna be cool okay well the moment of the truth so here we go As you can see it is very small and removing the migo pad from this case is very easy it has Eight clips. As you can see four on the sides and four on these sides. And body construction is very good. Here is the light pipe. Here is the light pipe. So you can see the indicator here. And let's take a look to the micro pad. So basically, on the back side there is a CPU shielding, memory card slot, USB, OTG and power input, there is the button, power button and HDMI output. Let's take a look on the back side. So before this you have to remove the Wi-Fi antenna connector right here so let's lift it up you can see just put the board for a second aside so here is our Wi-Fi antenna for Migo pad some people are claiming that their Migo pad has lower range so they can change their Wi-Fi antenna it is not very hard as you can see onto the back casing right here they have installed anti-static shading as well as this is working as a heat sink for the Migo pad. Please note that this Migo pad doesn't have any fans, so it consumes less power also. Okay, right above the Wi-Fi antenna, there is the LED, as you can see, and beside the CPU. Onto the back side, they have installed the EMMC and the graphics card right here. There is a CMOS battery. You can change this battery. It has a connector right here. So it, it will be very easy to change. And here is a copper copper heat sink right here, very thin in size. Some components are there. Okay, so that's all about the tear down. And if you have any doubts, I will link down the photos of this tear down in the description below. So please check that out. And if you have doubts or any queries about this Migo pad, then feel free to ask in the comments below. And be sure to like this video, guys. And goodbye.